Dr. Mark Cengizzi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm gonna to talk about eating bugs. There's a lot of conversation these days about one day we're all gonna be forced to eat bugs. I think most of this conversation is silly, um, even the, the very premise of it, but uh, uh, I wanna just talk about that because I think people misunderstand what bugs are and why we eat certain kinds of things that we do. Um, so again, uh, this is sponsored by Vino Optics. This is the company that comes up out of early research of mine from 20 years ago on why we evolved color vision. We've got color blindness glasses, vein finder glasses, the only ones in the world, you just put them on, you can see your veins better, uh, and FreeX uh, Sunwear, the only Sunwear that optimizes color as nature intended. So bugs. Now, we all have an aversion. Um, if you don't eat certain kinds of things when you're a child and impressionable, um, you often have a taboo for those things for the rest of your life. And um, for whatever reason in our culture today in, in the United States, which most of my audience is from the United States, um, we're, uh, we won't eat bugs. Um, we'll be disgusted by it, but we'll eat crabs. We'll eat lobsters. We'll eat crawfish. We'll eat shrimp. And, um, and of course, we'll also eat other things. Mollusks is too, like snails and, and uh, octopus and squid, which are part of the mollusk uh, family. But let's just focus on, on the crustaceans first, because crustaceans are arthropods. Yeah, they're not insects, but they're arthropods. And, and um, arthropods are massively diverse uh, 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 class um, order of, of, of animal and there's just a tremendous variety of things for which we have picked just a few things which are totally okay and I'm totally okay to eat those but when you look at the entire um, huge repertoire of things that are in there they all disgust us and so the idea that we should be disgusted by eating insects or spiders or other other um, classes within that uh, when that within that whole uh, phylum, so it's a phylum, um, then it's, it's just arbitrary. Um, now, there are probably some kinds of insects and some kinds of arthropods which are genuinely unsafe to eat. They may be poisonous, they may have parasites, they may have, you know, some of those things are not potentially good ideas. Either they're too, too little meat or they're hard to raise. There's lots of good reasons for why some of them would be the kinds of things that would be more palatable, um, easier for humans to eat, easier to farm, various kinds of things. But you can be sure that the reasons that we like those three crustaceans and don't like, you know, in, insects or, or spiders, probably as a, as, a, as a whole, we don't like those. Is probably um, mostly cultural and taboo, and just what we're used to. Um, offhand, there's there's quite a, 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 a bunch of insects and other kinds of spiders which are eaten in other cultures, just not our own. And a lot of other cultures think we're disgusting for having um, uh, uh, lobsters and crabs and shrimp. They think it's just they just think we're eating bugs. As far as they're concerned, those are bugs in this kind of qualitative layman category of all of these things that are gross creepy crawly things that they would never that they would never want to eat so uh, and, and just offhand there's just a few things i'm throwing on the screen now nice big chunky insects that would be and in fact are really good once cooked and and and, and healthy and actually provide a lot of sustenance um so it really would take a generational change to uh, uh uh get to the point where you'd want to do that but it's just too late for most of us and uh, that was your science moment.